Hey everyone, it's Heather Nichols and welcome to the 1920s. I was so inspired by all of the jewelry and designs that involved using lots of different rhinestones on, um, you would see them on headpieces, on clothing, on necklaces, on pins. And so I created a way to make kind of a floating rhinestone embellishment that you can use in your projects to kind of replicate this cool rhinestone look that you saw in that time. So here's the die that I included in the 1920s kit that you got. It's kind of, it's replicated after a vintage piece of jewelry from the 1920s and it has holes poked into the back. So the holes are not going to punch through your project. You can see here that I die cut clear cardstock, but then I also die cut out of a piece of regular cardstock. So you're going to be able to use these holes as guides. And I'm going to show you a couple different ways to do that. I'm going to show you one way in this video and then the other tutorial that's about sparkle and shine. I'll show you how to do it a different way. So what I did is I took my cardstock um, die cut and I set it back in the die and I'm just fastening everything down to my table with um, washi tape. And then I'm taking a pen, this is a marker, and I'm just going through the holes and I'm creating the pattern that I've got in the back of the die, I'm just transferring that design to this cardstock piece. My ultimate goal is to put the rhinestones onto the clear cardstock, but I'm going to be using this cardstock die cut as kind of a pattern for setting up my rhinestone design. So here I've got all the marks done on the die cut piece. So you can see there. And what I'm going to do next is take a piece of the die cut clear cardstock that I also cut with that same die and I'm going to put it on top of kind of I guess you would call this sort of a jig pattern because you're using it to make sure things are placed in the right place. And again I'm using a little bit of washi tape just to hold everything in place. I zoomed in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Now there's lots of ways to do rhinestones and transfer them to your project and I'm using this little tool that I picked up at craft store a long time ago um, and it has worked very well for me for for doing rhinestones it has kind of a beveled edge on the end and it's really great for picking the rhinestones up and then setting them where I want them to go um, you can just do this with your fingers if you have a tweezer you might use that a paper piercer might be good for picking them up off of the um, the sheet they come on and transferring them onto the clear cardstock there. Um, so just kind of play around and see what you can find for a tool or maybe you can find a tool like this at your craft store. Obviously it's not one of those foolproof I can pick a rhinestone up perfectly every time kind of thing but it's definitely a great aid in getting your rhinestones transferred. One thing about rhinestones is they have kind of a glue dot on the back and the more that you touch that glue dot with your finger and the oils from your fingers get onto those glue dots the less they're going to um, stick. So I'm kind of showing the progress here of setting the rhinestones in and a tip that I have for this is take your bigger size rhinestones and kind of set them like at the corners at the tips kind of the accent places that you would like onto this particular die and then fill in between those larger rhinestones with the littler ones. Now you definitely need a bunch of rhinestones to do this full kind of rhinestone design, but look at how beautiful this turns out. And because it's on the clear cardstock, it just looks like it's this floating rhinestone design. So I'm going to put together the rest of my card. I'm using my stamp set that comes with the um, 20s error era kit, and I'm using that kind of crescent oval, I guess it's not a crescent, it's more of like a petal shaped um, pattern piece to create a background and then here I'm laying out my final card design and I'm going to assemble this all together. A little bit of the pattern paper as a strip that was included with the kit is going to go right along the bottom here and I'm going to attach that right now just up from the bottom and you can see I also used another image from the set and stamped um, that kind of flourish um, piece in classic craft and then I added the sentiment in true black right above that right on top of that um, is what I meant to say I'm adding some classic craft twill right to above the strip 
and then I'm going to get ready to attach. And you might be going, okay, well, yeah, it's clear. How am I going to attach? I'm going to use some glossy accents or a similar adhesive and I'm just putting dots of the glossy accent kind of behind the larger rhinestones on the piece. You don't have to have glue behind the whole embellishment. You can just have the dots here and there and the glossy accents is going to hold it in place just fine. So here I'm attaching it to the front of the card and there you have your finished floating kind of rhinestone embellishment for your card front. And now it's your turn to make a beautiful rhinestone creation using the die included in the 1920s kit or maybe you have a die um, that you already own that you would like to try this technique out with. I can't wait to see all of jewels and glitz that everybody comes up with. This is Heather Nichols and thank you so much for joining me on this 1920s adventure. I'll see you again soon.